In this video, I will show you how easy it is to have perfect skin. Let's begin. Let's admit it. We all have gotten a pimple in the past. And many of us still get pimples now and then. Some people are actually prone to pimples. When you catch sight of a pimple, under the surface of your skin, it's incredibly tempting to pop it. After all, waiting for a pimple to heal on its own might take a long time when squeezing a pimple would seem to resolve the discomfort in seconds. Pimples are totally natural and common, but that doesn't make popping them any less tempting. Generally speaking, as much as you might want to, it's really best not to pop a pimple. Because when you pop it, you basically interfere with your skin's natural healing mechanism. Thus, you're putting yourself at a higher risk for scarring and infection. I know. You know it. But you can't help. It's still extremely tempting to pop it, right? In this lesson, you will learn. 1. Types of pimples you may attempt to pop, and types of pimples you shouldn't to pop by yourself. 2. How to safely pop a pimple. 3. How to banish pimples you can't pop, as well as better ways than popping. Let's begin. First of all, let's know which ones you may pop and may not pop. There are many types of breakouts. I don't want to overwhelm you. But it's nice to know that there are different kinds of breakouts. So please be patient and listen to me for only a while. I guarantee it'll be easier toward the end of this video. Blackheads whiteheads, milia, pustules, papules, cystic pimple, that's typically called cystic acne, and acne nodules. Next are the differences. Blackheads are open comedones. They look like black dots on your skin. They are often seen on your nose, your chin, or your forehead, and anywhere your pores are large. These large pores become clogged with a substance known as sebum. A chemical reaction with the sebum occurs under your skin. Melanin is oxidized and turns the clogged pores a black color. They don't pop, but they can be removed. White heads are known as closed comedons. The follicles beneath your skin become filled with bacteria and have a very small opening at the top of your skin. Air isn't able to enter the follicle. Then, the bacteria inside of it doesn't undergo a chemical reaction, so it stays white in color. This type of acne is also found on your back, shoulders, and face. Whiteheads are covered by your skin. These whiteheads are tempting to pop. And sometimes it is easy to pop. Good for you! Milia looks like whiteheads. But, there is a difference between whiteheads and milia. Milia is similar to a whitehead, because it also appears as a small white bump. But, it feels hard. Almost like a tiny ball, under your skin. Because milia do not have a pore opening or follicle opening, to the surface of the skin, they cannot be removed, by your hands. Pustules are small pus-filled sores, located at the surface of the skin. Pustules are a type of pimple, that contains yellowish pus. They are typically a little larger than whiteheads and blackheads. Pustules appear either as red bumps with white centers, or appear as white bumps that are hard and often tender to the touch. In many cases, the skin around the pustules is red or inflamed. Papules and pustules are the two most common types of inflammatory acne or inflammatory pimples. The difference between papules and pustules is Papules have no visible pus. Typically, the papule will fill with pus in a few days. Once pus is visible on the surface of the skin, it's typically called a pustule. Cystic pimples or cystic acne is a type of inflammatory acne that causes painful, pus-filled pimples to form deep under your skin. Acne occurs when oil and dead skin cells clog skin pores. With cystic acne, bacteria also gets into the pores, causing swelling or inflammation. Cystic acne is the most severe type of acne. Acne cysts are often painful and more likely to cause scarring. 
While acne cysts are filled with pus or fluid, acne nodules are more solid and harder. They don't contain fluid. Don't try to pop them. You will learn how to treat them later in this video. Thank you for patience, let's move on to how to pop your whiteheads. You can pop your whiteheads, also you can extract blackheads for sure, with following steps. Clean affected area and wash your hands thoroughly, to prevent from spreading bacteria. Then, use a warm compress on the affected area, for about 15 minutes. An alternative to this process, is taking a hot shower, about 15 minutes. Your hands as well as the affected area must be cleaned after taking a shower. Use your clean fingers with a cotton ball or gauze strip to apply a gentle pressure onto both sides of the pimple and squeeze gently. Black heads should come out. And a white head should pop out. If it doesn't pop out, don't attempt it more than two times. Instead, if you have an extractor, use it to apply gentle pressure to press outside of the pimple and roll it. If it still doesn't pop, don't attempt the second time. Instead, sterilize a sewing needle with rubbing alcohol. Carefully insert the pin at an angle into your pimple to make an opening for the pus to come out. You shouldn't feel any pain or draw blood when you do this as you insert the pin only to the pus. Using a cotton ball or gauze strip, pop your pimple. If it doesn't come out with your finger, use the extractor to press outside of the pimple and roll it. The white head should come out. Make sure to sterilize the area of your pimple using an antiseptic product. If the pus still doesn't come out, stop trying it. It's not a white head. It's likely a different type of breakout that you learned earlier in this video. Don't repeat pressing or squeezing many times on the same spot because it causes a permanent scar. Instead, get a professional help. Acne specialists have proper tools, knowledge, and experience to help minimize even the most severe acne. They can be a dermatologist or can be a medical esthetician. If you can endure to not pop your pimple, try an over-the-counter spot treatment, which is better than popping a pimple. There are treatment options available that might speed the healing of the pimple. Salicylic acid, sulfur, and benzoyl peroxide are the active ingredients in many of these products. You can also try an at-home spot treatment, such as tea tree oil and charcoal masks. Popping a pimple once in a while will probably be fine, as long as you follow best practices to prevent infection. But you shouldn't make a habit out of it, and always be mindful of doing it in a sterile environment. Don't pop your pimples just because you are stressed. I really hope you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching.